About 20-30 years back, the office timings used to be 9 to 5. Generally, children used to expect their parents to be back by 5.30 or 6. And then they used to play together in the field. Now, with the productivity and corporate culture, the scene has totally changed. Well, it has a flip side also and it has a good thing also. The life standards have improved. There are so many facilities which never used to be there. But then you will agree that it is having a effect on the psyche of the children and also of the parents, the relationships between the two and among the parents also. And the terms like burnout and stress are being much talked about these days. So Harvard Business School has done a detailed study on this work-life balance. And after detailed study and investigation, they have come out with five steps which you can consider taking, which can ease out your life. So today in this video, I'm going to talk about those five steps which you can consider and which may help you in realizing that work-life balance. This is Mind Guide channel and I'm your Mind Guide, BCN. Generally, corporates and big companies do understand that there is an effect of burnout and stress on the company as well as the employees and they do not want it. But somehow they are not able to overcome that. Now let us talk about those five distinct steps which you can take as per the Harvard Business School study. Number one, pause and denormalize. Ask yourself few questions. How it is impacting my personal life? What am I prioritizing? What am I sacrificing? What is getting lost? The awareness of your current situation and your personal priorities may help you understand your situation and work on that. I understand and you will also understand that there will be trade-offs but then you have to decide the trade-off business that what you want in life. Step number two, pay attention to your emotions and for that you ask, do I feel better now or when I am working hard? Do I feel satisfied and energized? Or am I angry and sad and dissatisfied? By asking these questions, you can understand that your actions are driven by emotionality or rationality. It will also help you recognize the situation and make you understand that how the situation is impacting you. Step number three, ask yourself, what am I willing to sacrifice and how long? If I prioritize my well-being, my kids' well-being, my family's well-being, is it necessary to prioritize on work? How important this is to me in long run? These questions will make you understand that what is important to you in long run for your life. And then you can take appropriate decision accordingly. Step number four, consider alternatives. You have to decide on the fact that how much time you are going to devote on your work, how much on your family, how much on yourself, and then you decide on the alternatives which are possible. Maybe you have to have some trade-off. You have to consider about your aspirations, about your position. You may have to think of a new work which you may take up or change your positions. And then they say is the last step. After considering all that, the step is implement. In implementing, you will have two things. One, public changes. That is perception about you in the public, in the family, in the all-round ecosystem. There has to be probably some change in that. 
and you have to be agreeing with that why because of yourself and there will also be some changes in your private perception about yourself so you have to self impose certain boundaries and maybe even change your job and that whole thing will depend on your mindset which you develop after asking these questions from yourself ultimately the study says that this is a continuous process you keep on working each day on that you keep on correcting each day on that and it is not a product which you realize and then you continue with it so maybe this study will instill your mind to work on your work life balance and help you in this regard if you like my video please do share and like this video and subscribe to my channel see you in next video till then bye bye